of you who need it. First word I'm going to start with is, is awry. So I'll pop over to Google, define awry, awry, away from the usual or expected course or a miss. That's fine, you know what, we'll certainly put that in. What awry normally, yeah, so something we expected to happen, and if it doesn't happen, then it has gone awry. So I wouldn't necessarily say that a can opener was awry or a car was awry, but certainly things can be awry and plans can go awry. And there's, um, there's a, a quote about mice and men, actually, and I think that uses the word awry. Let's just have a quick look. Um, so it starts the best laid plans, laid plans of mice and men. I think it's apt to go awry. Let's have a quick look. The, quick, the best laid plans of mice and men often go awry. So there you go, it's, um, it's used often in terms of plans. So, um, my plan went awry um, when I ran out of money, for example. Balmy. Now, balmy is interesting. Balmy actually kind of means soothing, uh, and it comes from a balm, like an ointment. An ointment. An ointment is a balm. Um, so, whether that is surprisingly warm or nice, um, we often call balmy. In the Australian context, we often mean it's a bit humid. Um, and so actually not particularly nice, or well, I guess not quite unpleasant. But um, so, um, the weather in, let's say, September um, was unexpectedly balmy because we wouldn't expect it to be that warm then. Banter. Now banter is, um, the, I think of it as the, the quick exchange of witty conversation or, or just I guess a witty conversation but let's see what um, what it says here when we put it into define Google. Ah, the playful and friendly exchange of teasing remarks. Uh, now there's a terrific quote um, from, there's a terrific bit in Blackadder which is a British comedy series. Um, where they're talking about the difference between banter and wit. I suspect if you Google, and let's just have a quick look. Um, so, Blackadder, help if I can type, banter, uh, images, video. Hmm, let's go back to video. Since. Yeah, oddly enough, it's actually not in there, but there you go, it's in the TV show. So, um, you know, so you might have um, the friends exchanged um, some lively banter. You know, just kind of light teasing, quick-witted exchanges. Barter, now barter is a similar word, but of course it's spelt slightly differently and has a completely um, different meaning. Just Barter. There you go. Barter is where you swap one thing for another without using money. So it's trading. So we pop the definition is. Um, so the farmer um, bartered food for parts for his tractor. So he swapped them, he exchanged them. Benign is our second last word. And benign just means not harmful. Gentle and kind is what it says here. And in medicine, not harmful. So gentle, kind, not harmful. Um, he was pleased to hear that the lump in his chest was benign. So, you know, it's not going to hurt anyone. And finally, bizarre. I'm guessing that you know what bizarre means. But it doesn't help to um, to check the meaning of of words that you've been using. I've um, gotten things wrong a number of times that I thought I'd been using correctly. Very strange or unusual. So uh, if we pop back to here, strange or unusual. Uh, his clothes at the funeral were bizarre. So he wasn't dressed in the manner you would have expected. So obviously I'm not going to expect you to directly copy what I've done, but I wanted to talk through what these things meant. You know, perhaps your definitions are going to end up looking fairly similar than mine, since I'm getting it from the same place as you, but I'm hoping that hearing the words and seeing them in sentences will be useful to you.